Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Andre and this is the beast. The beast has been outside all winter. I've oiled it, you know, to keep it from rusting and to keep that metal protected because it is just raw steel. But today we're going to clean her up because she's a little dirty and you need to do that every so often. So let's get to it. And first things first, we're going to start with the firebox. We aren't actually going to wash the firebox because it doesn't need it. But what we're going to do, take out the grate because we just don't need it in there. And we're going to just take out the ashes. I do this every couple fires regularly any anyways, but uh, we will be getting water all over and we just want to clean it out okay firebox is basically taken care of you know what I'm not sponsored by Dawn but this Dawn power wash is pretty good stuff so what we're gonna do first we're just gonna take each rack and we're gonna spray them because the nice thing about this stuff is you really don't have to scrub unless it's really, really caked on. So we're gonna spray each one and just let it sit for a few minutes. So what we're gonna do too is just basically spray the inside of it as well, just to help get it clean, get any smoke residue off. Okay, we got the whole inside done. The only thing we haven't done is the door. And we're just gonna put some on the door as well. Keep that clean. We're gonna spray the whole outside of it because it's, as you can see, it's very dirty. And uh, I need to keep it clean. And just honestly, go to the dollar store, buy some just cheap scouring pads. I know they say you don't need to, but I like to take this and really get it worked in, you know? I find that it really just helps break up the grease that much better. And sometimes you just need to add a little bit more and some extra elbow grease. You ready? Outside's done, now let's go hit the inside. Woo, the hard part is done. Two more things we gotta do. We're gonna start a fire because I want this thing back up to temperature and bone dry. And then we're gonna oil the racks. Like I said, the messy part's done. I just want to bring this up to temperature because you have to remember this is all just raw steel. It will rust. So by me bringing it up to temperature, if there's any moisture hidden anywhere, it will just evaporate everything. And it's just a good thing to do. I know you're probably thinking that's a lot, but if you haven't seen, I know it's more of a <laughs> toy, but this is my new uh, fire starter tool. Come on, that's cool, isn't it? She's started now and uh, I'm just gonna bring it up to temperature and then we'll boil the racks. The smoker is at like 280 right now. I've been running it like this for the last 40 minutes. So inside is nice and hot. The outside, nice and dry too. 
I have some tallow that was heating up on the grill, so that's warm and liquid now. Just gotta be careful, everything's hot. Whew. So yeah, so we've washed all the grease off. So what we're gonna do now, a little bit of paper towel, and just rub the top of the grill. This is basically what you're gonna do if you're seasoning a, a cast iron grill or something like that. Just because this is raw steel and I don't want any humidity in the air or whatever to rust the grate, which would be really bad. So just a light coat of oil on the hot grill, that way the oil or tallow will stick. This way too, it helps protect the steel, but it's also going to help create like a non-stick effect. Not totally, but it helps. And what we're gonna do after, after we've done this, we're just gonna push these racks back in and let them go for another 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, like I said, I almost forgot this part. Now, this is to treat the outside of the smoker. This is just a cooking spray. I would never use this to cook with, but at my local restaurant supply store, they have this and it's much cheaper than if you're buying it in the grocery store. So all I'm gonna do is take this and spray the outside of the smoker. Cause this is what I've done all fall and winter, take this stuff and put a nice coating of oil on everything. I'm not worried about the handle, it's stainless steel. But everywhere else, especially the, uh, the roof. This way when the metal's all hot, it's, it's really gonna help stick to everything too. So I'm just gonna continue and do the whole outside of the smoker. There you go. Now it's been washed and resealed and she's good to go. Yes, it's a dirty job, but it's gotta be done. You guys know I love to smoke. I love my smoker, you know. This way, when I do it this way, from start to finish, I know it's taken care of properly. I know it's gonna last me for years and years and years. As long as I keep doing it like this and keeping it oiled, it's gonna last me, I don't even know how many years, uh, which is awesome. I'm gonna let this keep going for another about half an hour, just let that oil all soak in, that tallow really get hot and sticky onto those racks and then just let it cool down and then get to smoking tomorrow. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember to show some support, hit that like, subscribe, leave me some comments. If I left something out, leave them below or if you have any questions, leave them below, I'll, I will get to them. Guys, thanks for watching and happy eating.